London, England. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, and if Tom or anyone else for that matter feels like giving them a bit of a kick in, I'm sure it won't do any harm. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the Radio Talk Show. It is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio from London, England. We're here this week because the Los Angeles Kings have been nice enough to bring us here. The Los Angeles Kings hockey team of the National Hockey League uh, are here to play uh, two weekend games against the Anaheim Ducks. It's the first time the National Hockey League has played a game in Europe, even though many, many of the players come from Europe. There's never been an NHL game played in Europe, and that's what's happening this weekend. Kings and the Ducks playing two games at the O2 Arena, mere footsteps from where I'm sitting right now. And uh, I'm just thrilled to be here in London. I'm here with my crew. We're having a good time. Now, you may think that because we're in London, we are not on top of all the big stories in the States. But you would be wrong. Because when I'm in my room, I am combing the Internet. I am searching. I am looking. And I have got a story here from, of all places, San Antonio, Texas. It's a story about a guy who thinks he was discriminated against. And his fat wife. Who also thinks that... He's being discriminated against. This story comes from a TV station in San Antonio, WOAI. And it's about a guy who, uh, well, he tried to get an apartment. And he thinks it's unfair that they won't let him rent the apartment. Let's see why against the law for landlords to discriminate based on the color of a person's skin. But can they reject you because of what's on your skin? Some San Antonio apartment complexes are refusing to rent to people with tattoos and body piercings. News 4 troubleshooter Jay Avila investigates the case of one couple that says that policy is unfair. Gilbert Carrillo thinks tattoos are an art form. Real bright, you know, good traditional tattoos that I get lots of compliments on. He's been to tattoo conventions, and one of his tattoos was featured in a magazine. Ever since I was 18 to now 25, it's little bit by bit, just covering up here and covering up there. But last month, Carrillo's tattoos kept him and his wife Melissa from moving into this apartment complex called the Villas at Medical Center. We like the apartment. We brought them a check for the deposit and a check for the application fees. But later, Gilbert went by to look at the apartment wearing a short sleeve shirt. The next day, the Carrillos were told they didn't qualify to live there because the tattoos on Gilbert's arms violated the policy on personal appearance. For them to be so judgmental upon a person's appearance and for them to judge somebody based upon them having a tattoo is just ridiculous, you know. The Carrillos were also upset that the manager refused to refund their full $70 application fee. But mostly, they feel the policy is discriminatory. So the troubleshooters went to the villas at Medical Center to hear their side of it. The manager, Daisy Salazar, said she wasn't allowed to talk to us. We have our own lawyers and everything. I'm not allowed to speak to anyone. Can't right? comment at all about the tattoo situation. Can't. I'm sorry. But we didn't give up. We contacted one of the owners of the apartments, a Southern California doctor named Edward Frankel. Frankel emailed us a statement saying his apartment complexes do, in fact, reject prospective tenants who have tattoos exposed on the neck, head, hands, and wrists or large tattoos that cover over 40% of the lower or upper arm. Frankel says we do not discriminate. The above applies to persons of any race, color, gender, etc. 
Frankel and his partners have purchased a number of upscale apartment complexes in San Antonio and Dallas, where they've also banned pierced tongues and eyebrows. And tenants can't have more than one nose piercing or five earrings. Local fair housing officials say the rules may be unusual, but they are not illegal. Uh, refusing to rent to somebody because they have tattoos uh, may be unfair, but it's not necessarily discrimination in the Fair Housing Act, unless the tattoos are specific to the person's religion or national origin. After the troubleshooters started looking into the case, the apartment complex refunded the Carrillo's full application fee. But the couple is still angry that a landlord would consider body art to be the mark of a bad tenant. Boo. News 4 W O A I troubleshooter Jay Avila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boo hoo hoo. Boo hoo hoo. By the way, you could not see this guy. If you go to their website, W O A I, the TV station in San Antonio, you can see the video. You can see this guy. And the guy's a big cholo. And his body is like covered. He looks like uh looks like your average freeway underpass on the ten freeway. I mean the guy is one tattoo after another. And I think this is brilliant. I think it's great. You know what? They have every right to discriminate against him. There's no law that says that an apartment owner has to rent to somebody with tattoos. None. That's not race. That's not ethnicity. It's not religion. It's not gender. It's not handicap. It's not even sexual uh, origins or sexual um, uh, orientation. It had nothing to do with that. Uh, tattoos are about behavior. And it's my opinion that while everybody who has tattoos is not a danger to society, is not a threat, other people may think so. And if somebody owns an apartment building and they want to create a certain tenor, a certain atmosphere, as long as they're not discriminating against somebody illegally, they have the right to do it. Now, if these people want to find an apartment somewhere else, they're more than welcome to do that. But as I have said on this show before, if you've got tattoos, people are going to judge you. That's the way it is. And they're going to judge you. Because anybody who has their body completely covered in tattoos, in my view, has got issues. You've got issues. You do. Now, I know all you big bruisers are going to call in and yell at me and tell me how wonderful you are. And, of course, you'll prove my point by being a bunch of doinks who call in here and start complaining. But the reality is that I do believe you should be able to discriminate against people according to their behavior. Not their race, not their religion, not their ethnicity, but their behavior. And wearing tattoos is, is a kind of behavior. And if you look like a gangbanger or a cholo, I think they have the right to say, you know what? Go somewhere else. Point blank. They don't have a right to look at somebody and say, you're black, you can't come here, or you're Mexican, you can't come here. No, of course not. But if you look like a bruiser, or you're trying to look like a bruiser, I think they have the right to say so. If you have too many piercings, they have the right to say no. There's no law that prevents them from doing that. Any reasonable person, even people with piercings and tattoos, have to admit that the law does not protect you. And the law shouldn't protect you. You have a right to get tattoos and piercings, and the rest of us have a right to judge you. I said on this program that if you have tattoos, you can't be my attorney. You can't be my accountant. You can't be my banker. You can't be my stockbroker. And there's no law that can force me to hire you. So if you want to cover your body up with tattoos, fantastic. But what you're doing is limiting your own future. You're limiting it because people like me who have money to invest, money to spend on attorneys, whatever, we won't hire you. Because you don't look like somebody who's there to do business. You look like somebody who's in the process of defacing your body. We do not have to hire people like you. And guess what? If our landlord decides that, he wants to create an atmosphere where people like you can't live with people like me. He can do it. It's legal. And there's nothing you can do about it. Isn't that great? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Someone actually asked me... Can we hurry up and have three dates? <laughs> oh, oh, I like his 101 graduate. I guess. 
Yeah, Damn. just a dork that he would say it out loud. <laughs> oh, see that? He should be a little more subtle about that. Yeah, like pretend he's yeah. interested in you or something. I mean, that, that that would be more appropriate. Yeah, exactly. The Tom Likey Show. It's the Tom Likey Show from London at 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. We're talking about the couple that complained to the troubleshooter at the TV station in San Antonio, Texas. Oh, they were going to rent an apartment. They were so happy. And then when the uh, when the uh, rental agent saw the guy come in with his uh, short sleeve shirt and all his tattoos, they said, guess what? You're not getting the apartment. So they called the TV station whiners. 1-800-5800-TOM Armando. On the Tom Likas show, hello. I wanted to say, yeah, that is discrimination, and I'll tell you why. It no, it's it's not. No, it's not. It was not. a veteran that came in that had USMC on his arm, and he fought for our country, and he saved how many lives? He's not. He discriminate against that guy? The guy, first of all, the guy in the story, and if you go to the website and look at the video, uh, the guy in the story was not, a, uh, this guy could never have gotten into the military. I don't think he could have passed the physical, Okay. That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, you, you know what? It doesn't matter. If you, it, it has to do with whether 40% of your body, 40% of your arm is, is tattooed. By the way, yeah. most people I know from the military don't tattoo 40% of their arm. No, no but uh, what I'm saying, though, is it discriminating against one person because maybe he has a little bit more ink on his arm. You have a right to do that. The, the, the discrimination laws the discrimination laws have to do with whether you discriminate against somebody for their race, their religion, their sexual orientation, depending on the state you're in, uh, their gender, uh, their ethnicity. Um, those are illegal. But there are, other, there are other kinds of discrimination that are legal. I also wanted to point out that discriminating against one person for any reason, whether it's ink, whether it's sexual orientation or color of skin or whatever, leads to other forms of discrimination. I don't care it's what you think it leads to. It's legal. It, it's, it's legal discrimination then. You know? Yes, it is legal. By the way, I cannot rent to you because I think you're too fat or because I don't like you. Um, I can refuse to rent to you because you're, uh, you know, a jerk. I can refuse to rent to you because I think you have bad credit. There's a million reasons I can discriminate against you that are legal. Well, then I just wanted to go out by saying this. I'm going to just quote Martin Luther King Jr. when he said, don't judge me by the color of my skin. Judge me by the color what? of no, my well, yeah, that, He's talking and about the color of the skin. Thing. He's talking about the color of the skin like you were born with. Not when you defaced yourself and made yourself look like a criminal. Like the guy in this story. I'm sure he's not a criminal. But in my view, if I were walking down the hallway of that apartment building and I saw this guy with those big tattooed arms, I'd feel intimidated. I would. Robert, on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Robert. How you doing, Tom? You know doing what? Okay? This is something that is on my plate as we speak. I am a landlord. I own a couple businesses and a couple buildings as well. And all the time, I have to protect my interests because if I have someone who looks like a hoodlum, other potential people coming in are going to look at them and say, oh, I'm not living here. I've had that happen several times. And I have evicted people because of that, and I will continue to. By the way, I wouldn't rent to them in the first place. Well, they were there when I bought the units. I understand. And so with that, I thought, well, I'll keep them there. They do pay their rent on time. But when they start scaring children and they start scaring good tenants who want to live there with their families, guess what? You're out. I agree so. with you. People you know, we, we have enough laws, you know, and, and small business people have to deal with so many of these stupid laws. Here's, here's a situation where, guess what? It's legal discrimination, and you should exercise your rights. Oh, I do. I do. I do. You know what? And I will because of the fact that the tenants are the ones that have the law on their side. The landlords do not. Right. They get away with everything, and here we are. We're sitting ducks. I get taken to court all the time because I unfairly, unfairly evict somebody. Oh, poor you. you know, what about the guy who's you know paying the mortgages and everything else? Mm -hmm. You know, come on. You know how that is. You're a businessman. Yes, I am. You spend a lot of money, you know, trying to protect your interests, and these guys right. just feel like, oh well, you're discriminating against me. Well, you look like an idiot, you know. And people, right. They're not going to take you seriously. 
And I think you have the right to do that. We're not talking about a physical handicap here. We're not talking about, uh, uh right. we're not talking about, by the way, I believe religion is a lifestyle choice. You know, frankly, I think if you have some, like, what if you, okay. what if you engage in Santeria and you want to uh, execute chickens on the property? You know what? <laughs> that, we're no longer talking about, you know, you're born with black skin or you're born, uh, yeah. Latino. We're talking about a, a ritual. We're talking about your behavior. Uh, I, I think I talk. think I think religion should be taken off the list. I think yeah. we should be able to say, you know what? You believe in Santeria, you're out. You you yeah. know what? You believe you're a you're, you're a Catholic and uh, you're you're you you uh, leave on Sunday morning. You make all this noise out. I, you're you're a Muslim and uh, Friday night you're walking around here with the, the prayer rug. You're out. I think they I think you should okay. have the right to to discriminate against people for their behavior. True. Very, very true. And I Religion do, is a I lifestyle choice. Checks. That's what it is. Yeah, I do background checks on all of my tenants coming in now. And if they don't look appropriately, uh, you know what? It's I'm not going to rent to them. And I did have a, a, a tenant of mine who was Catholic, and she had the Virgin Mary uh, statue at her place, and she had a huge parade. I had to have the, the police come down and shut oh it down. Oh, my God. God forbid you should see the Virgin Mary in a grilled cheese sandwich or something. <laughs> And then a lot of people start showing up at the building. Well, I'm going to sell the building. You're on out. Then. You're out. If you, I, you know what? I'll, I'll take you to the Supreme Court. You're out. <laughs> Tom, thank you very much. Thanks for letting me rant. Uh, blow me up. Like, of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. This is Jamie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 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 Um, I just, uh, first of all, I'd like to agree. And I think that anyone that lives in the United States has a right to discriminate against another person as long as it's legal. But my question to you is, is if there is a very skilled stockbroker or banker, as you mentioned earlier, and he happens or she happens to have tattoos that are not necessarily visible. Haven't met one yet. You don't know that. I mean, what if it's under their blouse or... Well, then I wouldn't know. Well, then I wouldn't know, and I wouldn't be capable of discriminating because I wouldn't know they had tattoos. Well, let's just say... When because they would the be... Profe- because you point. know what? That would say something about their professionalism. If they insisted on being tattooed, they would be professional enough to not let the clients know it. Right. That makes sense, and, and I respect that. But however... When, when I see a tat, point. you're out. Right, but what if at one point while this person is doing an amazing job with your money that you've worked so I hard don't for, care. When I see a tat, you're out. Even if he's helped you or she's helped you? Even if. Wow. Even Why? If. I'm just curious. I just don't understand that. Because I, I believe people who do that have other behavioral issues. They drink too much. They do too much drugs. They do some other kind of drugs. They're out having fights with people. I mean, it's a behavioral thing. It's a behavioral thing. People who get tattoos are the kind of be like Popeye. They're out beating the crap out of people. That's what they do. I'm a 27-year-old teacher, and I have tattoos, and I don't do drugs, and I don't well, drink. Well, guess what? And the school I district have... has the right to fire you, and I, you know what? I think they no, should. No, they don't. No, they don't. Sure they, they do. do. Yes, they, they do. The right to fire yes, they do. Not. Yes, Absolutely they do. Not. Yes, no, they, they do. What, what, under what law do they not have that right? They do not have the right to fire me. Based on the tattoo that I do not show. I don't have a tattoo on my neck, but I do have a tattoo. If they, and if they, they have a, they that is it, not illegal discrimination. That's legal discrimination. And if the school district decided that that was not positive for the students or that it was making the parents upset, they could fire you. And it would be legal. And you could hire an attorney, but it doesn't matter because there's no law that would protect you. Interesting. And if I find that that's incorrect, what can I do to prove you wrong? Call me back. But, you know, you know you I'm, t- I'm telling you right now, you won't uh-huh. find it. There is no law protecting your right to wear a tattoo. None. Interesting. Okay. That's all. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, the tattoo discrimination law. The Popeye law was, pre- was, pre- was passed in 1934 by Olive Oil. Some of the other co-sponsors, Bluto and Wimpy, who gladly pay you on Thursday for a hamburger today. (laughs) you got to be kidding me. They don't have a right to fire me. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. James on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? 
great. Awesome. I just wanted to comment about the tattoos. You know, I'm 21 years old, born and raised in uh, Orange County. Probably about 35% of my upper back and uh, both my arms are tattooed. That's great. I went to college. I got a degree in business. You cannot see any of mine. They are all covered by just a normal T-shirt, and here's why. Tattoos, if you're going to put them all down your arm, up your neck, your face like Tyson, like a moron, you are going to go to places and people are going to judge you because you chose to put something on your body to grab attention. Right. In a business environment, in a family environment, like a, if you're a tenant somewhere, that is not appropriate. Now, if you want to do it, go right ahead. But people that get them should understand. They grab attention. They're going to be causing judgments to be passed on you. And yeah, anybody right. that wants to complain about it should have thought about it first, like I did. I knew I was going to be in a business environment. I chose to get tattoos anyway, but I put them in a way so that they would not affect my ability to get a job where right. I live, and I wouldn't be discriminated against because nobody would know. And people should think about that before they get them. And I fully believe, just like you were talking about the, the fat girl at the bar a while back, there's no reason why they shouldn't kick her out of I believe they should have, just like with tattoos. Guy doesn't want him living in that right. complex. He should have thought about it first. I completely and, agree. And by the way, anybody anybody who doesn't believe me, turn on CNBC any day of the week. Any day wow. of the week. And if you find one single person, one talking head on CNBC. In fact, let me put it this way. If you find one talking head on CNBC with a visible tattoo this month, I will come to your house. Okay? I will come over to your house. I'll bring dinner to your home. <laughs> you you won't find it because it's a business environment. You damn straight you won't find it. You dad, you're completely right. Uh, thank you for this and everything else you do. You're doing one hell of a service. You even saved my life. So thank you, Dad. Uh, take me out. Classic style. All right, son. Here you go. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Abraham on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. It's an honor just to be talking to you. I know it is. <laughs> it was uh, the thing about I don't I feel I don't feel any sympathy towards uh, that lady because like think about it if you if you're gonna look like a jail like that chances are you are a jail and you should be treated like a jail. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tell everybody what that is. <laughs> well, am I allowed to say it on the radio? <laughs> and seriously, when I see when I see guys, and of I, course you can't say that on the air, but I just wanted to hear you say. Thank you. <laughs> When I see guys my age with the with the piercings on their face or something, tart alert goes off in my head. Tart alert. Well, not only that, you know, let's say you're going on a business trip where someone's got piercings on their face and you've got to go through the x-ray machine. Let's start there. Yeah. You, you know, how do you, how do you do business if you're constantly going to be stopped uh, by the security people at the x-ray machine at the airport? Getting wanded all the time. I think some of you people like being wanded, by the way. I do. Yeah, you just make a spectacle of yourself. I. By the way, did you hear about the guy who wore two monocles and made a spectacle of himself? <laughs> no. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> but, ser but seriously, seriously, uh, you, you, you have to be judged, you know? <laughs> yes. You, you, yeah. You're looking to get judged if you get tattoos, you know? Sure. You're lucky. I'll tell you what. You're lucky if people take the time to judge you. You're lucky if they still consider you at that point. Yeah. Self-expression is great and everything, but as long as you don't make a spectacle of yourself, you know? Right. You know, you, wear, I... you wear tattoos on your face or, or, or you pierce your face or whatever. Right. Yeah, it's a big F you to your parents or whatever, whatever you want to do. I mean, like, how, how do you expect people are going to take you seriously? I totally agree with you, Abraham. Thank you. Uh, Sean, who's listening to us on the online stream from Scottsdale, Arizona. You're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. You are my shepherd. Thanks for taking my call. Yes. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm, I'm with you on this. I don't have any tattoos. I live in Scottsdale. There's a ton of people that have it. I think it you know, really cheapens the thing. And I'm all for you not being able to, to say, you know, it's not a discriminatory law that you can't do it. But you mentioned taking it to the Supreme Court. Do you think this could be construed any freedom of expression on the First Amendment, right? No, because you have the right to express yourself. But other people have the right to express themselves by saying you can't have an apartment, you can't uh, be my stockbroker, you can't be my attorney. 
I yeah. Well, I I, I figured you know. No one is saying you don't have the right to have a tattoo. You do. Yeah. You do. (laughs) Now, if 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 they made a law that said you can't have tattoos, then you'd have a case. But you can have a tattoo. Uh, so you're right. no, I, you're... I, I, I thought you were right on the discriminatory laws. I, yeah, I've dealt with it myself. I had to deal, deal with real estate and things like that. But uh, I figured, you know, when you when you said take it to the Supreme Court, I thought this might be something for somebody with a tattooed F U across their forehead to be able to say, you know, try to put a case together. Well, but again, they would have the right to express themselves. Everybody has the right to express themselves. But I have the right to say you can't have an apartment. I don't have the right to say you can't have an apartment because you're Asian. I don't have the right to say you can't have an apartment because you're a Jew. I don't have a right to say you can't have an apartment because you're in a wheelchair. I don't have a right to do that. But I have a right to say you look like a threatening gangbanger, and therefore I don't want you in my building. You do have a right to do that. I agree. Or the tramp stamp. we got too many guys that are going to be coming over, right? All the tramp stamps. I don't <laughs> let, you know, by the way, I don't let women with tramp stamps into my place. <laughs> if you got oh, the tramp on, stamp, you're easy. out. No tramp stamps in my place. <laughs> Some of them look like you just don't want to see them the next morning. <laughs> no tramp stamps. The tramp stamp is out. All right. Sean, th- I'll take out Kobe style, baby. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh, yeah. Like is. Tom. Hey. Like is. I like to party, but that's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Like is. Like is. The Tom Like is Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking about the couple in San Antonio, Texas. Well, that was having a hard time. Uh, they were rejected for an apartment because the husband was tatted all over. Lewis on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Lewis. Hey, what's up, Tom? Hey, I'm a ratings, big fan of the my show. Paycheck. I think you're hilarious, but this Thank tattoo you. thing, man, you're completely wrong. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. There's no way that it can be legislated about tattoos. It's a, it's an expression deal. No one has stopped you. You can have all the tattoos. Wait, wait, stop right there. You are, you can have all the tattoos you want. There's no law against it. Correct. It's like the same thing about a chassid who chooses to have payas. And then no, it's not. Says, oh, no, it's not. Give you a, no, it's a not. Here's why. You look. Here's why. Because that has to do with religious discrimination. That is part of religion. It has to do with expression, freedom of expression. No, you're wrong. No, it's covered under religion. It's no, it's of not. Of religion, but it's under no. the article of If of you the have First a payas, freedom of expression. If you have the payas and you are Jewish, that's covered under religious discrimination. But tattoos have nothing to do with religion. It would be the same way if you legislated no. against uh, against a female or against someone who had a really short No, it's not. Or was but bald. you're wrong. You are no, simply not, wrong. Not. Prove it. Give me an example. Give me a give me some uh, legal precedent. I'm listening. Give you legal precedent. Well, yes. like, for instance, the Civil Disobedience Act about disabilities. You can't legislate against someone. Disabilities who has are disability, covered. Even disabilities. It would be more for your disabilities apartment. are covered under the law as illegal discrimination. If somebody came to rent an apartment and they were in a wheelchair, you can't say no. You can't have the apartment. They're covered. The same way you can't say you can't have the apartment based if he's an equal candidate, if his hair is short, or this guy has long hair. Yes, you can. Look at Donald Sterling. Why do you think he's settling that case, Tom? What case? The case about the, all the blacks and minorities who are suing him about not being what able does... to get apartments even though they were equal. We're not talking about, we're just, we're not talking about discrimination against people who are uh, of a particular it's race or ethnicity. We're talking it's about, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Tom, Are you an attorney? Is. Are you an attorney? Tom, I went to school. I'm a college uh, graduate. Oh, wow. We, well, well, that's wonderful. But the fact Me is, there are Me specific, you. there are specific kinds of discrimination that are illegal. You I will, no, you're not do a you lawyer. Know, you're do not you want to know what they are? Do you want to know what they are? Please they, tell me. I will. The specific kinds of discrimination that are illegal are race, ethnicity, 
gender, religion, handicap, and in California, under the UNRU Act, sexual orientation. Yes, but I mean, That's someone it. who has tattoos, they, I mean, for instance, they like are not an Indian protected. person, they have they the are red not, dot. They are not protected. Oh, again, that's religion. If it has nothing to do with religion, you are not protected. If you have a big tattoo of a crucifix and a picture of Jesus, you could probably go to the Supreme Court and make case. But if your tattoo is of, you know, Cesar Chavez or Harley Davidson or any of the other icons of tats, I'm, I'm telling you, you are not protected. You're not. Well, I under, I think that the point that I'm saying is what if someone is saying that this is the way that they express themselves in terms of their they religion? Are, or their they religion? have a right. No, but they they have a right. You have a right to have tattoos. Nobody can make a law saying you can't have a tattoo because you have freedom of expression. Yeah, but the landlord, I, the I, landlord, I, I the landlord, the landlord, the landlord has the freedom to say, I don't want to rent to anybody who has a tattoo of a motorcycle company on their body. Well, that could very well be true. I mean, if you could be more more about the tattoo, what in question is the tattoo? But if you have a tattoo, if of like the tattoo big, is not religious, you don't have any uh, any any protection. You are not covered. You're not. You're wrong. Okay, Tom. Well, have a nice afternoon. I love the show. Yeah, as well you should. Because I know more than you do. Maggie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I'm hey. so glad to hear you talk about this today. Because I was really starting to doubt myself. So two weeks ago, my boyfriend and I got into a big fight because he made a joke at a party about how he wanted to get tattoos on his arms all the way from his collarbone down to his wrist and i assumed he was joking and said well if you do that's a great way to break up with me and he's like what do you mean you dump me if i got tattoos down my arms i'm like well yeah and he proceeded to call me every name in the book about how i was so superficial because i wouldn't accept him and i'm thinking <laughs> of myself I'm not going to, people are going to make a judgment about me based on the people I date. And I'm not going to go to some work function with somebody who's got tattoos down their entire body. Right. They're, they're going to assume I'm leaving some sort of double life. By and the he, way, by the way, neither would I. Yeah. And he just was, oh, the names he called me. I got to tell you, I'm so relieved because I know he listened to this show. So I'm hoping he's listening right now and realizing that it's just not me. It's just he's going to make everyone think he's some hoodlum, and I'm just I'm not prepared to be associated with that. I don't blame you, and that's how I would feel. If I met a chick and she decided she wanted to make her uh, body look like the mural uh, on the side of a building or something, I'm out. Yeah, and I, this whole argument that it's some sort of way to express your individuality is just such tripe. I mean, it's not individuality at all. It's what everyone does. Well, to you have a unique. right. You have a right to express your individuality by having the same tramp stamp of a Harley Davidson logo that a million other women have. You have a right to express that individuality. You do. And I have a right to say, you know what? Tramp stamp, no apartment. Exactly. You're an individual I don't want to be associated with. Right. So, thank you so much, Tom. Can you blow me up? Of course I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's Julie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, Tom. You know I disagree with you so often, but I have to tell you, I'm a lawyer, practiced for ten years, and you are correct on this. And there's no doubt about it. The, the discrimination laws are very specific. Yeah. Yep. Every, everybody confuses fairness with the law. Just because something's unfair doesn't mean that it's illegal. And people are upset because they want their tattoos and they want to be treated fairly. And that's not the way it works. Just because you have your tattoos doesn't mean that everybody has to treat you the way you want to be treated. And I might add that uh, part of fairness is, as someone who uh, has an opinion, I have a right to an opinion, too. And That's I right. think people who have tattoos are more likely to be low income, more likely to be troublemakers, more likely to be criminals. And therefore, I have a right to say, I don't want to associate with people like that. I don't want to do business with them. Yeah. In general, people very much misunderstand discrimination laws. And you're correct that there's very few categories of protected groups, and only those few protected groups 
are protected from discrimination. And I'm in favor of taking religion out of the equation. Well, I disagree with you on that, but uh, I disagree with you on a lot of things. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, wasn't there that story in New York? Of how, I mean, you know, New York had, what, 9-11? And there were people at the New York Giants football games? Muslims wanted to take out their prayer rugs at the football game? You I don't what? remember that. Yes, yes, that was like last year. Hmm. Um, that's, that is not uh, discrimination. That's about your behavior. Now, I know there's a law, but the law should be changed in that case. Uh, you know what? People who had to look at 9-11 shouldn't have to look at you on the prayer rug of the football game. If, if the football team wants you out, they should be able to say out. No prayer rugs, no foot baths, none of that. Well, then are, are they also going to eliminate any signs of Christianity at the football game? Personally, I think they should have the right to do that. Okay. Well, if they're going to eliminate religion, then they should eliminate all religions and not just uh, Muslim uh, You religion. know what? Well, no, I think they should have the right to do it. I'm an atheist, so I think they should have the right to do it. Okay. You know, you have a right to believe any religion you want. I have a right, right to associate with you or not. Yeah, that's true. That's how I see it anyway. Well, you're dead on on uh, today. I agree with you today. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> Have a good day. Appreciate the call. Here's Will on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Hey. Going great. Awesome. Uh, I just wanted to say that I agree with you wholeheartedly. And you know what? I got five visible piercings on my lip. And you know what? It's a personal choice. And you know what? On top of that, if I want a guy to do my tax and stuff like that, I don't want to see tattoos on his arm or on his neck. I would not even want to see piercings on his lip. That's just my personal opinion. Because you know what people like that are really like. They they want to be rebellious. They want to be. They're like you. And, and they exactly. And they want to be judged. They they want people to judge, and they want them to think they're a badass or whatever. This and that. Excuse my language. No, um, badass is okay. All right. Um, you know what? And on top of that. You know, people who like tattoos, I don't have any tattoos personally. But, you know, if I wanted to go in for a tattoo, I would want someone that, that has tattoos all over their body to, to, to put tats on me. I don't want someone that looks like, uh, you know, they, uh, they look like a lawyer. And I don't, want, I don't want someone with a suit and tie on to be doing my tattoo. I think that makes sense. Exactly. And I'm sure, I'm sure that if someone went in and applied for a job at a tattoo place uh, with a suit and tie and they didn't look, uh, let's just say, like a freak, you probably wouldn't hire him. Right. Exactly. So, and, and the tattoo place should have the right to hire nothing but freaks. Exactly. And, you know, on top of that, <coughs> excuse me, Tom. And on top of that, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a personal choice. Yeah, okay, they say religion, this and that. Yeah, I guess uh, you could say what people in India, the, the girls have ta uh, not tattoos, they have piercings uh, going from, what, their nose to somewhere else. And, yeah, it's part of religion, but... I, I, I don't understand the religion. And on top of that, Tom, I agree with you that I think you should be able to discriminate against religion. You know, myself, I'm, I'm a, of the Christian faith. And uh, you know what? I, I agree that you should, you should be able to discriminate against people. If, if, if someone that comes, like you, you're an atheist, if, if I'm a Christian landlord and you want to come rent for me and you're an atheist, I should have the right to discriminate against you because uh, I don't want you running around saying, oh, you know, God sucks or whatever, you know? You have a right. You have a right. You have that right. Natalie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Hey, um, the point I was trying to bring up is uh, I just heard that guy that called um, a minute ago was talking about how if you discriminate against uh, tattoos, it's the same as discriminating against women and race. I don't know what the hell he was talking about because, the, you know, the big principle here is that there's a difference between things that you are born with or things you can't really help versus things that you choose to do. And I'm that's sorry why, to that, say, by the way, that's why I think discrimination against religion should be allowed. Well, I, and I, I don't know that I necessarily agree with that on that particular point, although I think it is a valid point. But there's a huge difference between discriminating against somebody because, you know, they are in a wheelchair and discriminating against somebody because they, quote, unquote, want to express themselves by, you know, writing some stupid tattoo on the back of, you know, on the back of their yes. pants or something like that. That's right. It's just, back of their it's pants? Just, well, I mean, on basically, like, on top of their pants, on, you know, like, the tramp stamp that girls wear. I oh. mean, that's what I'm trying to say. But um, anyway, so that, that was just kind of my point. It's just, it's All right, I, I understand your point, but I'm out of time, and I thank you for the call. The Tom Likas Show.